Hey, welcome back to SGS. I'm Sarge, and I'm bringing music to the front lines to you guys today. And today we're going to do a little bit of Rin uh, with Chinchilla Chalk Outlines, highly requested. Uh, it's 5 minutes, 42 seconds. I have not seen it, so I have no idea what we're in store for. But we know this. Rin, uh, sort of a modern-day bard and uh, just a genius with a lot of the things he puts together. And I'm super excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's do that. And um, if this is the first time you've ever came to my channel, thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate it and welcome. And for everybody returning, thank you for coming back. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I truly will appreciate it if you leave some comments of your favorite songs from Ren, um, you know, or if you've had some moments with him or if you've talked with him or you went to a concert or something of those natures. I know he's been sick, etc. so I don't know how much availability he's actually had. But if you have a cool story like that, I'd love to hear it. Uh, Ren has shouted out this channel before, which was super, super awesome for the support he's been shown. And he also probably still has a fundraiser up there. Um for his ongoing struggles with Lyme disease, I believe. So anyway, let's get into this and I hope you guys like the reaction. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. It's like he's in like a, an archive or a, a library or something of that nature. in a basement ah oh, lord here we go that was loud <laughs> Super loud. That's pretty so far. Three chords. <laughs> Still here in this bed that I crawled in. Talking about the meds. Walk around in the floating chalk outline. Feel like a zombie and dead. So it goes, let it be. In the gallows, I balanced on my toes so I can breathe. But little by little. Push it back down with a new habit. Ooh. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh, my, my, oh, my, my. We trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Oh, my, my, oh, my, my. Erase ourselves in these chalk Wow. So what I'm getting from this so far before she starts in, it looks like, you know, he's feeling unwell, taking meds, etc., and just feels like it. Well, one, he hopes he goes to bed and wakes up and feels completely healthy again. You know, everybody wants to feel good every day, like of their life. <laughs> you don't want to be sick. Uh, you don't want, you know, to hurt you don't want the pain you don't want the intrusive thoughts or whatever it is that's going on and then he takes his medicine and the way it's coming off to me and i may have this wrong and if i do please clarify in the comments for me guys but that you know he just 
feels like he's sort of like dead you know he's just floating along in life because he's not the person he wants to be but he's also not healthy if that makes sense well let's see what she's got uh i really enjoy the guitar and his singing this is only one of the uh, of a couple songs that i've heard that he he actually uh you know sings out in them and i gotta tell you man he's got a great voice he's got a great voice an immeasurable talent when it comes to playing the guitar and singing uh, obviously we know he can rap. Uh, it, it just, wow, man. I mean, considering where he is in life and, and the things that he struggled with, etc. Th this is what makes Ren good to a lot of people because he's relatable because I mean, let's be real. Even if you didn't have Lyme disease or whatever, the last four years have been sort of a nightmare. I mean, I think we're coming out of that, but only in certain aspects, you know? Uh, crazier and crazier things are happening every day, but then tap on top of that with Lyme disease and, and, and them saying, you know, you have mental health issues, et cetera. And, and he, and he still may have mental health issues, but I think they were, um, made, how do I want to say it? It's like, I think they were, he was kind of like gaslit to a degree, right? Where he was just saying, you know, they were like, oh, you're, you know, you're just crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just all in your head, but it really was Lyme disease. And I don't know. You know, like I said, he's kind of a beacon in the storm for people that are suffering out there because of that relatability. And uh, that's why we love him, man, because he's just raw, you know, and he's a genius. Really is. Whether you want to admit it or not, he is. Let's go. Yep. Serotonin. Don't cry cause there's a pill for everything. Yeah. Instead of show real emotion and get it off your chest and talk with somebody that's hopefully qualified to be able to listen to your struggle, uh, the, you know, that I think that's what the pig mask is a lot of times with Ren, is he looks at the pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare professionals that are prescribing those sort of like butchers you know they just want to um they just want to they just want to throw pills down your throat but they don't necessarily want to give you a fix you know what i'm saying like i feel like the pharmaceutical company and this is not to get on some huge rant but it's very similar they don't want you to they don't want you to die from whatever you're dying from but they also don't want to fix it completely because it's it's more lucrative in profit if they just let you live with it for the rest of your life anyway let's keep going <laughs> take this one wash it down and you'll be fine the feeling goes and you draw a joke out on she has a beautiful voice so the He said he was scared of being okay because all things change. You know, that's funny because, you know, very, not that I want to bring other artists, but I always do this. Um, you know, NF, for example, talks about mental health and changing and how he is afraid to let go of said burdens um, 
because he'll be more scared because it's the unknown. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's kind of touching on that in a different way. Um, because I think he was saying in a, in a sense that if he does feel good, he doesn't know how long it's going to last. Maybe, maybe I'm, you know, reading too deep into that, or maybe I'm, you know, reaching a little bit, but like, that's what I feel like he's saying there. Wow. Wow. It's such a perfect day. It's a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful shade. I'm scared of being okay. Cause all things change. But little by little, bit by bit, I'll push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh my, my, oh my, my, we trace ourselves in these chunk outlines. Oh my, my, oh my, my, we raise ourselves in these chunk Wow. Powerful, emotional, easy to connect to because you don't have to be, you don't have to have Lyme disease. You don't have to be, have like a severe mental disorder or any of this other stuff to understand this. Um, everybody in their life at some point, shape or time usually has at least anxiety or depression because life's unpredictable and it sucks sometimes. And, um, you know, it's just that's what makes Ren a beautiful human is that he's raw and he's sharing his story. And like I said before, sort of like that beacon in the storm for many, many people out there because they need somebody they can relate to because they're looking for, uh, you know, not necessarily like a step by step tutorial of how to be not mentally unwell, but knowing that somebody has went through something sort of similar and 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 they're pushing out of it but at the same time they can take their experiences and and with his and and just kind of tailor it a little bit to to you know even if it's only temporarily just just get out of that that funk or or just feel slightly better just because you know there's somebody out there else that's struggling too and not because you want them to struggle with you that's that's not what i mean it's just it's so you don't feel all alone because that's mental health within itself, the mental, the mental prison. You know, you fight in and out every day with the inner critic and the negative thoughts or intrusive thoughts or whatever you would like to call them. And uh, that you're not enough. You're, 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 you know, you're too scared. You're pathetic. You're, you're, you're not, you're not whatever, whatever it is, you know, it, it that's what happens when you have something like that. You know, it just, constant non-stop never shuts up even when you try to go to sleep etc you know and and to have somebody that they can put on like ren and and just feel a tiny bit better in in the world today and for those out there that are struggling with any of these type issues i highly recommend you know seek out professional help if you can if not go find a friend or or somebody that you can talk to and and try to try to heal those pains or or at least at least vent them out for a little while so so this will shut up so that way you can have some peace because that's the biggest thing that you want you just want peace um with that being said i absolutely love this i think ren is masterful in everything that he's done so far and, and this is no different I, I love the singing voice i love the visuals as simple as it was in that little hallway down there uh, i absolutely love his guitar playing and her voice is beautiful as well um like I said, guys, if, if, if you need help, please reach out to somebody. Um, have a wonderful day. I hope you have the greatest of days at that. Until next time, I'm Sarge. Guys, eat well. Be safe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.